What is up everybody? Welcome back to Scotty Holiday 2. My name is Scotty Holiday. I am a queer creator and a huge Star Wars nerd, so if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing to my channel. I went to my parents' house this past weekend and got all of my old Star Wars toys out of their attic and I thought it would be fun for us to go through them all together and just to show you everything that I have. My friend Joey from the Krypton to Alderaan podcast actually was the one who suggested this idea to me, so if you haven't already, please make sure to check out his podcast, Krypton to Alderaan. Krypton to Alderaan. I'll put the links in the description below. I ended up finding way more stuff than I expected while I was going through this box, so I'm going to be putting out multiple different videos going over different sections of the toys that I have. That way we can go through all of them together and it not take, you know, an hour long video to do so. Today I'm going to be going over all of my old Star Wars ships and vehicles. Before we get started, please make sure to like the video and leave a comment letting me know what old Star Wars toys or collectibles you have. Now, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is the different ships that I have. The first ships that I'm gonna show are the droid starfighters. So I have two of those. I've got the standard droid starfighter uh, from episode one. And then I also have one of the droid starfighters in the position where it kind of walks. So I have these two. This one can shift back and forth between the regular Starfighter, and from the walking version. There it is. So those are the droid Starfighters that I have. Um, I actually did not realize until I was looking at these ships that this one's head <laughs> can go up and down. I don't think I had ever moved it before today. So that was a pretty cool, neat thing to find. The next ship I'm going to be going over is the Naboo N1 Starfighter. So this is my N1. Um, we've got R2-D2 in the droid port. His head swivels around. We've got the cockpit, which does open up. You can put a character in there. And then something that I was really surprised to find out was this. So it makes noise and somehow the batteries in here still work. <laughs> so it makes that kind of flying noise and then it also makes the firing noise. And if you look, you can see these green lights here light up when you push it. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this toy. It was probably one of the first ships that I got, especially because it was episode one, obviously. This toy, I'm surprised it looks as good as it does currently. Um, when I first took it out of the box, these um, pieces were bent way worse than they are right now, but that's what the attic will do to your toys over sitting in there for years. Now this next ship I had to actually look up the name for because I had no idea what it was. So this is the XJ6 Airspeeder from Episode 2. So here's this ship, and this is the speeder from the beginning of the movie that Anakin steals. Characters can go in it. They don't fit very well, to be honest. But one of the cool features that it has is um, the front of it can actually kind of smush it in. And as you can see, the pieces fly off here, so it's it can kind of simulate a crash. If you see, they're all kind of scrunched up. It's just rubber, but if you push this button on the back, it goes back to how it was before, so now it's fixed. This one was a lot of fun as well. I played with this one a ton. Now the next ship that I pulled out of the box is Luke's X-34 land speeder, which I also had to look up as well. Obviously I knew it was Luke's land speeder, but I had no idea what the number was for it. But here's Luke's land speeder that I have. And on the bottom, it does have these kind of plastic clear wheels. There's a shifting gear here, and if you pull it up, it makes the wheels go up, so it can kind of just sit rather than roll. And if you push it forward, the wheels come back out. So this one is pretty awesome uh, because you can actually fit characters in this one, unlike the Episode 2 Air Speeder. But this is the Luke Skywalker Speeder that I have. The next ship that I have is the second largest ship that I have. 
as you can see, it's pretty huge. <laughs> so this is the TIE Bomber that I have. You can fit a character in the cockpit here. I don't know where the top to the cockpit went, so I apologize that it's just kind of open. And there is a button here. I don't know what it does. It may have shot something out of this port at one point in time. I haven't seen these toys in over 10 years, so I was surprised at all the different things that I found. And But yeah, this is the TIE Bomber that I have. So I've said this before, and I'll say this a million times. Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, was my personal favorite Star Wars movie growing up, and it's always going to be high on my Star Wars ranking because of that. I have so many good memories watching Attack of the Clones. It just makes me feel so good every time I watch it. And honestly, at this point, I think it's one of my comfort movies. So this last ship I'm going to be going over was definitely my favorite out of all of the ships that I had, and it's also the largest ship that I have the Republic gunship. Uh, as you can see, it's gigantic. This one fits characters amazingly. Uh, the cockpit opens. You've got your dual pilots here, so you can put two different clones or whoever in here. It has this little turret on the side. Uh, if you can see in here, kind of this floor, does have little pegs on it, so you can stand the characters in there. And it also comes out there was turrets on the front here. I don't know where they went, so I apologize that I don't have those. Now, some of the cool features about this ship is these turrets on the wings, they do twist. The doors on the ship, if you push this button up top here, they open. How fucking cool is that? Underneath here, if you can see, on either side, there's uh, missiles here that, missiles here that'll detach. There's these little kind of cargo spaces where you can put stuff in there though. I don't know what you would want to put in there. And then these two guns up here shoot as well. On the back, uh, there's these little kind of towing cables. I'll detach one and they sit on these pegs and then you can unravel it and Hook somebody up with it or hook a vehicle, whatever you want. And then there's this turret on the back as well. So this is the Republic gunship and here's the button to make the floor come out. So I guess I'll do it. There it is without the floor. I had so much fun playing with all of these ships growing up and the Republic gunship and the airspeeder were definitely my favorite because of course, episode two. I'm really surprised that the batteries in the N1 still worked after all of these years, but to be honest, it was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed going over all my old Star Wars ships together because I had a fucking blast. And I have to say a quick thank you to my parents for not throwing away my old Star Wars toys when I told them to after I moved out of their house. So thank you so much for keeping them in the attic for me rather than throwing them away like I told you to. I also wanna say thank you again to my friend Joey for suggesting this video idea. As I said before, if you haven't checked out his podcast, Krypton to Alderaan, Krypton to Alderaan, make sure to do so. I'll have his links in the description below. Next week, I'm going to be putting out another video going over some more of my old Star Wars toys. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed because you definitely don't want to miss it. Now, out of all the Star Wars ships that I showed today that I had, did you have any of these same ships as well? If not, what ships did you have growing up? What were your favorites? Let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter so we can chat more about it. All of these old toys are so special to me and going through them really brought back some great memories of playing with them in the past and I hope this video can bring back some good memories for you too. And if anything, maybe it'll inspire you to go up into your attic and get out your old Star Wars toys. Please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel for more Star Wars content. To keep up with my latest updates, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. The links are in the description below. Thank you as always for watching and may the force be with you.